Hello, my friends. Pastor Ken here again. And uh, we're looking at the Lord's Prayer as a template for how to learn to pray. Um, yeah, something for us to follow so that we can learn how to better communicate in our prayer lives. And we do it because it works. But you know what? We also do it because it's what Jesus told us to do. He said, pray then in this way. He told us a few ways not to pray, and we covered that in the first couple of uh, uh, sessions here, but um, now we're in the in the template, we're in the pattern that he wants us to follow. And uh, today I want us to look at this phrase that's that's in the Lord's Prayer, and it's this, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now when we pray this prayer, if you're anything like me, the way I grew up, it was our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> you know? And it's because when you're speaking something, uh, you keep a rhythmic feel to it, and it's probably easier to teach people to pray it that way. And like other things, like the Pledge of Allegiance and things like that, you probably didn't think a whole lot about what you were saying, uh, if you're anything like me. But what the sentence actually says, and this is one complete sentence in the Greek and the Hebrew and any language that this uh, prayer is translated into, what it actually says is, your, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And uh, an even more literal translation, um, because this request is in an, uh, uh, an imperative voice, would be, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In other words, what you want to happen and what your desire is to happen, let it happen on earth the same way it does in heaven. This tells us a few things about what we're saying to God. We're praying for uh, what we want to happen. We're praying f for where we want it to happen and for how we want it to happen. What we want to happen is for God's desires to be done. And it doesn't mean that God's in heaven wishing things would go a certain way and hoping, you know, so-and-so gets elected and that you're good and I do what I'm supposed to do. It's nothing like that. God has a desire for his creation. And part of that desire was he didn't fill it with robots. His desire will be met um, but it also is a desire that includes the individual choices of people on earth. And so uh, he does have desires that are not met yet, okay? We want those desires to be met. Where? On earth. Um, we want this planet that we live in that is his creation that has been marred and stolen from him despite its beauty uh, it's his and it, and we kind of wrecked it, or at least we're trying our hardest to wreck it, it seems. But we want his will to take place. Um, and we want it to take place on earth. How do we want it to take place? In the same manner that it takes place in heaven. How do you think God's will happens in heaven? I think in heaven, his will pretty much gets done perfectly. Not like a tyrant saying, you know, go out and do this, and a bunch of angels run out to do it. But everything works according to his perfect, just, loving, and fair nature. And everything functions that way in heaven. So when we pray your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We are saying, let that kingdom uh, come to this earth because we are in great, great need of it. Of course, when we get those three things wrong, we get in a lot of trouble, don't we? Uh, people were storming the Capitol a few weeks ago, and some of them anyway were claiming to be doing God's will. They prayed and they carried Christian symbols and everything, and they were doing God's will. Were they doing it? Well, really, they weren't doing God's will. 
But they thought they were carrying out God's will. But do you really think they would have admitted and th that they thought they were carrying it out God's way? Oh, I imagine a few would, but I don't think anybody, regardless of your opinion about politics or anything, I don't think anybody would say that any of those people or anyone anywhere around the world that resorts to violence and force and intimidation and and uh, all of that, uh, all of those means, I don't think anybody would think they're really carrying out God's will in God's way. When we pray this prayer, we are asking that that wonderful kingdom that we prayed about the last week we talked about it, would come to this earth and that God's will would be carried out and functioning on this planet in the same way that it functions in heaven. Now, this has been called an all-inclusive prayer. If it's really all-inclusive, here's how I like to think about it. I wonder how many things I pray for would be answered and would be resolved if God's kingdom were, if, if his will was being carried out on his planet. Things that I ask for, uh, health, it would be carried out, I would be healthy. Uh, politics, international relations, food, famine, plagues, industry, employment, uh, racism, education, poverty, all of the things that I care about and that you care about and that we talk to God about, wouldn't they be resolved in the best way, in the righteous way, if the will of a righteous God finally came to this earth and were enacted by him, enacted as, they, as, it, as that will is enacted in heaven? That's what we're praying for. So pray with me now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth the same way it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily needs and forgive us for our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, uh, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom, and yours is the glory, and yours is the power forever. Amen. Thanks. I'll see you next time.